Hello everyone. It is Michelle Litwiller here. It is Wednesday, July 13th, 2022. And I'm here for our weekly Facebook Live. And today, tonight, we have Christmas in July. And I have three really, really adorable cards to make with you. So we will get started in just a second. All right. Hi, Carol. Thanks for saying hi in the comments. Hello, Cynthia and Tara. Hi, guys. Um, hi, Bev and Doris and Carla and Sharon and Deborah. Hello, hello, everyone. It's so good to see you guys. Hi, Sherry and Lori. Okay. So I'm just going to wait a second and then we are going to get into the cards tonight. Um, Sh Sharon said, uh, another Sharon said, I usually end up missing the lives. I'm so glad I made it. I was able to make it tonight. I'm so glad you were too. Um, if for some reason you have to hop off or uh, you can always come back and watch the replay or this will be uploaded on my YouTube channel. And or if you're watching on YouTube, thank you. Don't forget to head over there and subscribe. Um, so I appreciate that so much. Oh, Kathy, you're so sweet. I um, went and got my hair done today. So that is why it's down. She curled it, but it's starting to fall out. My hair is really long and heavy. So when I do curl it, it doesn't last like super long because it, the, it, the heaviness like kind of pulls the curl out. So anyway all right so I was gonna show you I this is the third day third day in a row that I've been live this week I was live Monday Tuesday and now tonight Wednesday so um, if you missed any of the videos then you can check them out here on my Facebook page below or again over on YouTube and so um, I'm gonna show you what we made on Monday and Tuesday just in case you missed it. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate all of you sharing this video too. Uh, all right. So on Monday, so you guys know that celebration is going on, right? This, the catalog. So when you place a $50 order or hundred dollar order, you can get some items in here for free. So we're going to be featuring a set of dies in here tonight, actually, and some of the paper too. But on Monday, I featured the hippest hippos, which has a stamp set and then you get the stamp set with a $50 order and they have the dies for $50 too. And so we made some really cute cards with the hippo. And you see on the little flowers there, there's little 3D flowers too. So then this hippo is like in a little, little tub or bucket. And then the little cute ballerina there. So that was Monday's Facebook Live. Yesterday I went live with paper pumpkin alternatives. And do I have those in here? I have, yes. So that was the pick of the crop. And so we made this card and then we made this card, a little bowl of fruit. It says, you're the pick of the crop. And then just this sweet and simple, soft with vellum there. And then I showed you the actual paper pumpkin cards as well. So, um, that was yesterday, and then tonight we are going to make um, the cutest cards. And actually, I wanted to show you something that we did at my team meeting. So let me go grab that really quick. Hopefully it's not a huge mess behind me, but I'll be right back. Okay. All right. I'm back. So, um, we, um, every, 
Every month I have a team meeting for uh, demonstrators that join under me, and my team is awesome. I love them all, so shout out to all of you, my team that are on here. I see a lot of you. But um, we always do a make and take. So whether most of the people on my team just love stamping out products, and so they can get uh, the make and take packet sent to them or they can come in person and do it. And so um, this was a project that we made. It's an eight by eight and it goes in a shadow box and it's featuring the products we're gonna use tonight. And my friend Dawn had made a version of this and I just tweaked it a little bit to fit my needs and so this is what we made at the team meeting on Sunday. So they got to do this for only $12. And then it fits in a little shadow box that looks like this. Hopefully there's not too huge of a glare, but do you see how nice that looks um, for an awesome home decor piece? And so um, this is a stamp set called um, trees for sale and it is in the mini catalog the new mini catalog it is on page 39 right here and this stamp set is only $22 now a full disclaimer this stamp set is unorderable it's so popular it is already sold out but have no fear because it will be back and I will let you know as soon as it will be back because you're going to want to get it because we're going to make three like I said three adorable cards with this set tonight and then when you get your order up to $100, I'm telling you, you're going to want to do it. And you're going to want to do it quick if you haven't already. Because in the celebration, these, whoops, those set of dies right there, um, you get free with a $100 purchase. And there's so many cute um, samples in this book and the other book as well. And so these coordinate with that $22 stamp set. And so these are what we're using tonight. The other thing I'm using in here tonight is this pack of paper up here. On the last card, we're going to use this. It's like gold and silver, and it's a 6x6 six six pack, and we're going to be using that too. But that's what we're using tonight. I'm super excited. I know some of you are like, I don't want to think about Christmas, and I get it. I don't either, really. But... These dies I don't think are going to make it until the end of August. So if you want them, get them now. Also, the hippo dies. And just a little side note, the little cards and envelopes, these like soft seafoam ones, I heard they already sold out in 11 or 12 days. So all of this stuff is kind of while supplies last. Um, so if there's something you really want, I the dyes are usually super popular. So that's what we're doing. And today, Rhonda said, uh, Rhonda said, hi from hot Texas. Today in Michigan here, at least where I live, it was like 70 degrees. And I was, fr I was freezing today. So it felt like um, Christmas <laughs> to me. Like it felt winter. So anyway, this was a fun little project my team made. And we're going to get started. Thank you, Karen. I was off getting my hair trim today and the color a little to cover up some of my gray hair too okay so let's get started oh and if you want to order real quick let me put this up while I turn the camera view down there's the host code and anyone that orders at least $50 this month I'm going to just send you a thank you gift so all right I have like the most adorable cards to share with you guys Okay, let's get busy. So here is the stamp set right here. I'll move that host code just a second, but I wanted to um, put it up. Run it, it was 104 there. Oh, I heard that in Texas it was so hot and they were telling you to keep your like air at like 82 or something, one of my friends posted, which is kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> that is so crazy. Uh, this is the stamp set you're gonna want if you don't have it when it comes back in stock. So it's a photopolymer. I've I've literally used like every stamp in here. It's adorable. And then here's a actual up close of the dies. You guys know I like to um, put my dies in these clear cases and label them. Cynthia, you're down there too. It is so hot. Oh. And there's so many in here. You can do so many cute things with this set. So many cute things. There's like the cutest little camper and trees and a dog and lights and um, stars. So many amazing things you can do with this set. So let's get into our first card. So 
So our first card I kind of copied right from, uh, I kind of copied from one of the catalogs. Actually two, two of the cards I think I did. So we're going to start with that. So here, and I did a few pieces ahead of time just to try to save a little time because um, while these cards are easy, there's a lot, a lot of pieces. So this is Poppy Parade. I was going to use another sheet of paper from the celebration and then I decided not to. So this is Poppy Parade. It's kind of like a reddish with like almost like a hint of orange maybe. Um, I know my friend Karen that's on here is one of her favorite colors. And then I have a piece of early espresso and basic white. Now the basic white measures five inches by three and three quarters. And then the early espresso is just an eighth of an inch bigger, like five and one eighth by three and seven eighths, I believe. So we're just going to, it just needed a little, it just needed a tiny little border to me to go on there. So here we have this. So I already went ahead and I die cut two of these little posts and they're like, I know you can't see, but they're embossed from the dies. And then we're, we need to do some stamping now. So I need a scrap of basic white, which, what did I do? I have like a whole, um, this, this is basic white. We'll use this. Perfect. All right. So we're going to do, um, the dog in here I think is so cute too. There's like a little dog, a little trees for sale. And then the sentiments say, Christmas greetings, you light up the season and so very merry. Um, and then all these little trees and then look at the little paw prints, the little stand for the tree and then some little like snowflakes and stuff. Okay. Oh, we're also going to use this cool snow puff paint. So stick around for that. Okay. Get a block and then we need crumb cake. And I need Poppy Parade and what other color? Garden Green and I think I used Mint Macaron. So I used, I used these colors for the first card. So let's, um, let's stamp our brown pieces first. So I need to stamp, and I didn't do some of these, so bear with me. Okay, I need to stamp the cute little dog and I'm just doing it in a crumb cake. I need to re-ink mine. It's getting really light. And then three of these little um, tree stands or whatever they're called. They hold up the tree. And you get three of the dies to do those, which is kind of nice. I need a little baby wipe here. So, I hope everyone had a good day today. All right, so there's that. Then, let's just do our other stamping. This bigger tree, you can tell I've used it. We're going to stamp this in um, garden green. But what we're going to do first is I'm going to do this kind of like the I'm just calling it the branches because you can see the little like the details or whatever so we're gonna do two of those like that just the, the full strength then I'm gonna come in with a little scrap here and we're gonna take the solid image right here and we're going to ink this up. We're going to stamp it off once. And then without re-inking it, go right over that image. Because you can like really see where it goes. Thank you for sharing, Yvonne. Okay, so there, look at how cool that is. It just adds like that dimension to it. We're going to do that again. So stamp it off once. And then do this here. When I saw that those other things already sold out, I was like, we're not waiting around to do the hippo or the camper. I was thinking about doing this little camper next week, but you guys, things are just, 
selling. So don't hesitate. All right, then we're gonna do this of uh, this other tree, and I picked a different color to kind of give it a little contrast. So this is mint macaron. It's just a little bit of a it's a lighter green. And it actually looks really good together. So there's our full strength. And then we are going to put this on. So also Stampin' Up! with Celebration, they have, um, you can get this cool, I'm just going to go over it like I do the other one. You can get this cool planner if you get the starter kit right now. And so if any of you are interested in that or just interested in joining my team, let me know if you have any questions or you need that link. I would love to have you join us. Um, Shelly said that tree stand almost looks like an itty bitty dragonfly. Oh, you're so right. It does. Um, it absolutely looks like a dragonfly. Um, okay, so there. these are... The pieces, oh, we need one more thing. I need um, the little set of lights, the string of lights, and those I need in memento black. So I did one, but we're gonna string two of these lights here. So there is our lights right there. All right, so now I think we have all of our pieces. Now I need to find some scissors. So if I were a pair of scissors, I would be right here. And um, I have my little die cutting machine here. So I'm just going to cut around these. And I'm sorry, I should have done a little bit more of this ahead of time, but I was I was only going to do two cards and then I was like at the last minute, no, I really want to do three. So I have my little mini machine here. Look, at, I did one set of lights here already. So now let's just, what you're going to do, the little mini machine, this is a great item to get, to get you up to that $100 mark and get your free freebies if you don't have one already, um, is we're going to put this down here. And then we're going to take our tree and let me see if I can get it, do two at once. It's, all right. it's always nerve-wracking already doing this live and then to try to do two at once. I could really mess it up and then wish I hadn't. But I'm going to hope that this works. If it just doesn't, if I just don't bump it. Okay, then we're going to put our clear plate on and press it down and go through. Now I have the big one too. If you have to get one, I would definitely get the big die cutting machine because that does every single thing that you would possibly ever need. But if you are a huge crafter, um, the little one is awesome to have at your workstation. So like I always have it near me all the time. So I love that. And then my big one is not too far away, but anyway, all right. Next up, we need the bigger tree. We're going to do these. And I loved uh, seeing you guys come on the last few days. Who knows? Maybe you'll see me tomorrow, too. I don't know. What, what can I create tomorrow? Oh, I know what I was going to do. I found more kits. So I might go live to sell some of those extra kits I found in my back room the other day. And there are some really, really good ones. So that went over really well like two weeks ago when I did that. And I have about 12 to 15 more kits that we could go through. But that would be in my private group, the um, card class with Owl Star Stampers. That's where I do that if any of you are interested. Okay, so now... We have the dog here, and then the little tree thing, which does look kind of like a dragonfly, how you look at it. So I'll see if I can do at least one, and maybe two, because I got a couple of, we have like a couple of these dies here. I can just pick it up. My paper is a little bit curved. I think they're going to hit because I don't have enough space. So. I'm not going to press my luck. 
because now see I keep moving the dog. But we're gonna give this little dog a nose and an eye as well. So here we go. We're gonna cut these out. And hello, hello everyone. This stamp set and dies is adorable. I, I want to use it to make my own personal Christmas cards this year, I think. I think this is a set, although there's so many good ones. Like, I, I really like that candy cane one. I got the barn one. Let's be real. What didn't I get should be the question. <laughs> there's so many good ones. Okay, then here we go. One, two more. So that means that I just have lots of projects to make with you guys the next few months. And then I also have been working on some Halloween. I love cute the cute Halloween stuff that we have. I'll be doing another Halloween stamp camp, but not till probably um, September. So just be looking for that. Oh, and if you are a demonstrator, I do have that demonstrator event. And today is the last day to sign up for that. If any of you, like, maybe forgot, last, last call for real for that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can message me. Um, hopefully the registration is open until like 9 or 10. If it's closed, just message me. Okay, let's put this together. We got all these pieces. There's a lot, a lot of pieces. And so um, we're going to put it all together. But the last thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp across the top. And we are stamping You Light Up the Season, which is what I had on that shadow box as well. So... I'm going to stamp this and I'm going to do it just up here at the top like that. I love that because I love Christmas lights. One of my favorite things is to drive around and see Christmas lights <laughs> um, in December. And next we're going to take these little posts and we're going to glue those down with some liquid glue. You guys know I love you if I'm using this because it, it I just always make a mess with it. Like right now, why isn't it coming out? And then it's going to squirt a glob because I'm not being patient. Or it ran out, maybe. Now is not the time. Okay, it's coming out. All right, so we're going to put this one post over here. And then we're going to do the other one over here. Marsha loves seeing the Christmas lights. Oh, several of you like seeing the Christmas lights. Oh, thank you, Diane. Yeah, Diane is, um, she did the last, the last demo event I did. And she actually gets to come this time. One of my team members is coming from Indiana to Michigan for it. And, um, oh. Last time I had one of my team members from Florida come, so that was like really fun. We have a fun, creative day. Okay, so there's that. Now we're gonna put we're gonna put our trees in. So let's get that over. Cause see, look at this glue. This glue is like oozing out. This is awesome glue, but I just have a love hate relationship with it. We fight a lot, probably because I'm not so patient. And look at my seal is about to run out. All my adhesive is about to run out. I have made about, I don't know, 20 cards in the last day or the last this week. And I don't think I have a refill near me. So we're just going attaching these little bottom pieces, like just on the bottom there. Okay, and then we have one more here. And so the little tree, remember, I did in the mint, and then we did garden green for the other. I can't wait to show you my next, I mean, this card is cute, but the next card I really, really like. I'm so excited. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, then we have this. Okay, these trees are going down flat. I'm going to put this one over here, and then I'm going to put this one next to it. It's going to overlap a little bit, kind of like... Well, if this little bottom thing would go straight, that would be good. Make sure that's straight. That's going to go like that. Can you see that? How adorable. Okay, then get your little shorter, fatter tree. 
grab a dimensional. Um, that's from yesterday. It's almost gone. We're going to stick this on here. Then our little dog, okay? He looks like this. In the little shadow box, I, I colored him with early espresso. So you couldn't really see like anything, but we're going to take our, what is this called? A journaling pen. And I saw in the book, I believe they put a little dot for the eye and then a little dot on the nose. So that's what I did. And then I have a little mini dimensional here and we're going to pop him up. Cute little dog. And he's going to be like jumping over here. And then right before we add these down, we're going to add a little bit of color. So I just have my blends here. I have Poppy Parade, Pool Party, and Daffodil Delight. So we're just going to do kind of every other one. This literally takes just like a second to do. So like that. And then we're going to, I'm just going to go the opposite way here. And we'll add, we'll get this card done. Okay, and then we have the pool party. Here, 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 and here. And then our daffodil delight. So, there's that. I hope you guys down there in Texas do get some relief. Is it coming soon? I hope it's coming soon. Okay, so we're going to drape these lights going this way and then this one going up like that. So here we go with our glue. I'm just going to try to add a little bit on the ends here, just like this. And I'm going to go, let me see, somewhere, something like that. See, I got on my finger. That's then we're going to take this other one and add a little bit here. Um, so here we go. So again, if you want the stamp set, don't, don't worry. It's going to be back, but I wouldn't wait on the dies. Um, cause we can't even tell if they're like on low inventory, the celebration items. It's just like they're just gone. You're here one day and gone the next. Okay, so here's our cute little panel so far. Isn't that adorable? Let's go ahead and add this. I'm totally going to run out. Do you see that red line? This is why I need somebody here. So I can be like, can you go grab me a refill? Because I have them next to me, but... I just use this like I put a new one in the other day and it's gone already. All right, then we're going to pop this up. And All right, so there's that. And look at this. Our first card is going to be done. And how cute is this? Isn't that so cute? Here's, here we go over here. Let me know what you think of this first card with the little light posts and the lights there. So you could also take Wink Estella over the little lights too. So really cute one. Don't, don't go anywhere. I have two more to go. So this is just kind of like, this was my starting one. Then the next one, I also got the idea right from the catalog. So here we go. Let me know what you think. So this one, we're starting off with Coastal Cabana, which is one of my favorite colors. So not a traditional Christmas color. Wait, this is the wrong card. We are using Coastal Cabana for the next two. But we're going to use this snow puff paint. Have you guys ever used this before? We're using this puff paint and we are using new embossing folder. So it's like a, let me show you, the whimsical trees. It's like a 3D embossing folder. Here it is, it comes six by six. This is what is embossed in the background of my shadow box. You can't really see it though. 
but this is a really cute embossing folder and it is showcased right here on this bottom corner on page 39 the whims it's called whimsical woodland 3d embossing folder so you're going to want to add that on and you see here how they like use like white ink to kind of like it looks a little distressed and it makes that embossing pop um, and it's also back here so this was my card that I got for my inspiration for this one and so we are going to do stamping on here now for this one I already stamped and die cut my dog because you guys already saw me do that this one this little dog I did though in soft suede so a little bit of a darker a medium brown and I am going to add the little eye in the nose because I just like that and because my ink pad clearly needs to be re-inked the dog has kind of a cool effect to it do you see how he's like a little bit darker and lighter I didn't do that intentional it just happened when I inked my pad um, but we have that so I just stamped that and die cut that already and then I already took um, our sentiment this is a piece of gray granite and I stamped it in um, Versamark ink and then the white embossing powder and I heat set that. We have a brand new heat um, for embossing a whole kit and I'll show you that in, in just a minute. But on this piece, this piece measures, let me tell you what it measures, three and three quarters by four and a quarter. This is where we're going to do our stamping and we are going to be stamping and then I just have my um, card that's going to open this way four and a quarter by 11. So before we get to use the puff paint we're going to stamp some of these trees and for this one we are using like I said kind of like a little retro some retro colors polished pink coastal cabana granny apple green and smoky slate. So these are the colors we're going to use, but just stick with me because it's going to be pretty. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the kind of like the outline a little stamp first. And we're starting with the Coastal Cabana. And I'm just going to ink this up. And I'm going to stamp it up here towards the top. Hopefully I'm doing this right. And then we're going to stamp it again kind of down here like that and then do I have I don't know where my little wipe went wipe that off and then we have we're gonna do a tree and um yes we're gonna put uh gems in the tree on oh you put up the gems in the lights it's awesome we're gonna put some gems in one of not this Hard, but the next one. And I'm going to put polished pink right there. Like where stuff is just disappearing on me. Oh, it's not. I moved it. It's dis disappearing because I moved it is why. Okay, then we're going to come in with this solid image here, remember, and we're going to ink it up. We're going to stamp it off once and then go over and then do that again over here because you can just see perfectly where to line it up it is a very cool embossing folder and um i missed it like at first oh we still need it we need to do it in the pink now polished pink and put this in last year we had that christmas paper with like the pinks and i loved it <laughs> And so we don't have it this year, so I'm kind of making, I love that they showed us this sample. So here's what we have so far. We're done with these, so I'm going to go ahead and close them up. And now we're going to, um, actually I think I used basic gray and not smoky sleep. So now, ouch, I just pulled a giant piece of hair out. Good thing I have a lot of it. We're going to go into Granny Apple Green, actually. And we're going to take the little, um, there's these little, I'm going to close this so I don't have a disaster. Um, these little dots, these little polka dots here. And I'm going in the green and I'm just going to go right over here and stamp these on the tree here. And then if I want a 
a few more. I'm just only going to ink up a few and add those there. And then I want one more down there. Okay, so now we have a couple little dots. Like, oh my gosh, my hair is literally somehow it got stuck in this ink pad. Well, that's interesting. Okay, done with the green. I forgot I did use red on the pink tree. So we'll add some little red dots there, just like that. And then we're going to take the little, there's little paw prints from the dog because we're going to add the little dog. So I'm going to ink those up here. And where is our little dog? He's going to go somewhere like here. So we're going to just kind of stamp the little prints going off the page like that. But now, oh, I got to add the little stars. And then we're going to use a puff paint. So this has three little stars, but I only want one of them. So I'm just going to carefully only ink up one on the edge. Do you see how I'm doing that up at the top there? Just one. And then I'm just going to stamp it at the top of the little tree. I'm gonna do that with each one of these. So I'm only inking up the one. And then this makes a little fun little background stamp too if you want. All right, here's our image so far. Now, we're, going, we're done with all of our stamping now. So we're gonna take this. And this I believe you will find by the gnome set. Who, who likes the gnomes? I love the gnomes. I love gnomes. So it is on page 43 here, and it's called Snowfall Accent Puff Paint. It's 450 for a bottle, and you need to have a heat tool right here to set it. Um, we also have, I'll show you when I'm done, an embossing kit that has like the the little embossing buddy, some tweezers, a brush and then the little tray. So what you wanna do with this is um, not squirt out big blobs um, because the bigger it is, the longer it's just gonna to take to set is all. So I'm just gonna go along the tree lines and add a few like lines and then we'll heat set it. So I'm just gonna to try to do like it, and you shake it up first. And um, I'm gonna go just along here you know, like this, I'm trying not to be perfect. It's almost like hard not to be perfect because uh, I just don't want it to be like so straight. You can add this to the trees too. I'm just, see it's wet like that. So I'm gonna put this on and then I'm gonna take my heat tool here. This is in our annual catalog. It has two settings. I'm gonna use setting two so it's the more powerful one. So it's gonna be loud for a second but eventually it's going to dry and kind of puff up like snow. It's pretty cool. So bear with me while I uh, heat this. Kind of move your heat tool when you're, whenever you're using it. Can you see how it's turning to snow? Okay, so I think it's all done. So now, can you see how it has like this 3D um, and it's like set, I can touch it. And um, like that is just like so cool. So I just wanted to show you that. So that's really awesome. 
Um, the other thing I want to show you real quick before I forget, because I'm going to, because I did heat emboss um, right here on page 49. This right here, this is the embossing kit that you can get. It's $27, and it's, it's really, really uh, nice. And I have it right here just to show you. Um, it comes with all of this. So you get the little tray, the bag, the brush, and then these cool tweezers that can hold so you don't like burn your fingers. But I've been using mine, you see the white powder in there already? So there's that anyway. I did use that on when I made my sentiment here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to put this card together now. So I'm just doing the color on color. Um, it's not that, it's not raised that much. I don't know if you can see. It's not like super thick. So uh, you can mail it in just a regular envelope because you don't want it to be like super, super thick. I'm sure you could maybe layer it on if you wanted it to get really thick. Um, so I guess you could do that. Okay, so now we're going to put this up not quite towards the top. And sorry, this piece measured four and a quarter by four and a quarter that I did this, I believe. Yep. And then we're going to take this piece and I'm just going to kind of offset it a little bit like this. So we're going to add that. Oh, she said, does it flatten down when mail? Sorry, I misread your comment. I don't know. I haven't ma I haven't mailed any yet. Years ago, we had like a puff paint and I don't think it does though. Um, sorry, I sometimes I just like didn't see your comment correctly. Okay, so we're going to add this. Now this does add up a lot of our embossed background, but that's okay. Then we're going to take our sentiment and I'm going to pop this up along the bottom here with some dimensionals. We're going to add three, one on each end and then the middle. Now our last card, I'm going to use the camper. So you guys are going to want to stick around to see how that goes together because it's so adorable. Okay, so we have the So Very Merry. And I'm just going along, I'm going to line up to the bottom edge of here. Um, and sorry, I got quiet, like I'm concentrating. So there we have that. So we have the little dog prints there. Then we're going to take our little pup and a little mini dimensional. And then we are going to attach our dog kind of like jumping through the snow there. Just like that but to finish it it's not quite done I'm just going to go in with some of our basic rhinestones which are some of my favorite embellishments ever these are six dollars and you get a sheet and I think these have been around forever and I'm so glad because I use them all the time and we're just gonna sprinkle a few of these up here in the sky you could add as many as you want I just added three little sparkles but there is that card. Let me know what you think of this one. And here's my original card with the, can you see the puff paint and the little sparkles? Um, so there is that one. Okay, so we have one more card to share with you. And I don't even know what I did with the first card. But um, I have all the pieces pretty much die cut for this one. So you, we don't have to do any of that. So that is right here. Uh, love it, love it. Thank you. Love the hearts. Thank you so much. Um, I love these rhinestones too because you can use um, our blends or any permanent marker and color them. So that's really awesome. Okay, so this card, um, I have it going the same way. And it's because I cut the paper. Actually, I didn't intend for it to go this way. But I cut the paper this way. So I went with it and I liked how it turned out. So this is again Coastal Cabana and it's just 11 by 4 and a quarter scored at 5 and a half. Then I have, look at here's my little pile of pieces. I have that new celebration paper. This is that silver. It has, it's like a metallic. 
and then the back is just white. And this measures five by um, three and three quarters. And that's just gonna go on there. It kind of looks like snow falling in the background to me. And I guess we can go ahead and layer this down. Oh, and there I did, I ran out of glue. So let's hope I have enough of this to get by. Okay, I knew I was getting low. All right, I'm so glad I'm a uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrator because goodness, the amount of adhesives and dimensionals I go through in a week is crazy, <laughs> oh, but I love it. Okay, so what I did, what I went ahead and did is with the dies, I cut out three trees in Green Ample Green. This is the shorter, wider one, and then two of the bigger ones. We're gonna stamp the little things inside of there. I cut out the wreath in Parakeet Party, a little bit brighter green. I cut out a little bow for the wreath in real red. I cut out the little banner in the new sparkle. It's like real red and white. I'll show you that. I did the camper in white. And then these little camper pieces in Coastal Cabana. I have a strip of vellum we're going to use and then a stitched stylish shapes circle. It's not the biggest one. It's like, I think the second biggest circle. So we're going to put this together. Um, let's stamp our trees first. So kind of like how we did before, I just um, have the green here and now we're just going to, we don't have to use a solid image. We're just going to go right in with these little, uh, like the branches. So I have the green apple green. I'm just using the same color as the cardstock and you can just kind of go right over here and line them up so easily. Isn't that so cool? And there's that. So it goes really quick. And then our other one is right here and we will do this. And then on a scrap of white, um, the only other stamping I have is my sentiment. And we're gonna do that in Coastal Cabana. And we're gonna stamp it to say, so very merry on a scrap of white, which I have, do I have? I just need a sliver, here we go, right here, there. Okay, now for our circle, I am going to add a little bit of color with my blending brush. You guys know I love to do this. So we're going to swirl this around, go off a second and add like some, like the sky. This is gonna be our sky. And I'm not going all the way to the ground because the camper is gonna cover it anyway. So we're done with that. And that's what the circle looks like. You can, it has, has a hint of blue uh, for it. Okay, what are we doing next? We're gonna put our camper together. So what I did is I took a black marker and I colored in the tire and this piece. Is it called the tongue? I, I'm not sure. Um, I think that's what I saw somebody else call it. So I'm just going to just take your marker and just carefully color that in. It just will make it stand out a little bit more. And why isn't this wanting to go? And then I did this whole tire. I just try not to get it. I'm trying, I should have did this ahead of time because I feel like my hand is very shaky all of a sudden. Okay, so there's our tire, like that. Then, the hitch, there we go. It's like, yeah, where you put your little hitch thingy. Okay, then we're gonna take these pieces. Now these cut out in one swipe, but then it comes out in two pieces. 
and we're going to glue these on to our uh, little camper here. Who loves to go camping? Let me know. I um, haven't gone camping in a couple of years, but when we go, we have a tent, and that could be maybe why I don't enjoy it, because um, it's just a lot of stuff to take, and we only go for usually like a weekend, so um, uh, we used to take the kids though when they were really little. We always would go for a weekend, and uh, but I have done my fair share of camping though, let me tell you, um, prior to kids. <laughs> So there we have this cute little camper. See how it's coming together? And now we're going to take, I have a piece of vellum. So I'm using this to kind of fill in, it pops out these like little hole, this little hole, right? And so you can put cardstock back there. I'm gonna just cut a scrap piece of vellum and I'm just going to glue this on. And then I'm gonna put on our little wreath and banner all right so just a scrap of vellum or whatever other color you want to use but it kind of looks like kind of looks like windows to me so um here's our camper so far now we're going to take this little wreath i'm going to put this over the door so you just need a, the tiniest bit of glue again your adhesive sheets would be awesome to use with these uh, there's that and then we have a little bow I secretly wanted my bow to be pink <laughs> like a little retro but I do love traditional Christmas too so we're adding a little red bow and then we have a new package of it comes six by six um, it's red in white sparkly glimmer paper it's in that catalog so that's where I cut this red out from here and you get eight sheets so I think four of each of them it's in the that Christmas winter mini catalog that just came out so I'm just adding a little bit of glue here and we're gonna put this going across our camper or camper here I can't wait to um read your comments about the camping because I know a lot of <laughs> a lot of my friends are like diehard campers uh, okay so now here's our card base we're gonna take our circle and this I forgot how I did it this is going down flat do not please do not let me run out of glue we're gonna put this down right there like so so there we have a little bit of sky now we're gonna take these little trees and add them flat so we're gonna put one over here. This card I literally <laughs> put together in like five minutes. I mean, it took me a little bit of time to cut out the pieces, but to actually like design the card, I was like, I just started gluing things down. But I was for sure happy with how it turned out. Uh, Lori said glamping for me. Yes, I'm with you, Lori. <laughs> Then we're gonna take our cute little camper. Look at how cute this is. And we're going to flip it over and add some dimensionals. And just don't add dimensionals where your vellum is because you don't want that peeking through a dimensional. So we're gonna add these here. And now we're going to put, I'm putting the camper down here. Hopefully I'm doing it straight. Okay, then we're gonna take our last little tree with another dimensional and we're going to pop it up over here. This, this card is a little bit more to the right than my other one, but that's okay. So there we have that. And then our sentiment. For the sentiment, I just hand cut it out. Some of you might hate this, so you can make it a banner you can just stamp it on the inside if you want. You could stamp a different whatever, but this is how I did it. And just cutting straight and then just going around the Ys. You guys, I almost didn't get to go live. I went to log on and Facebook has changed its stuff again. 
and it wouldn't let me go live. And on Sunday when I did my team meeting, I do it on Zoom and then I stream it through Facebook. We have a private team page and Facebook like locked me out because I couldn't remember my password. I've been having some issues with Facebook. So if ever I'm like like a late a minute or two, it's probably because I'm having, I'm fighting with Facebook, just so you know. <laughs> if I haven't mentioned like that I'm not going to be live, just know that that's probably what's happening behind the scenes. So now I have my cute little sentiment here and we're going to put this on. Now don't worry, we're going to add some ribbon. Don't worry, all of you people that know me. We have some ribbon in the house for this card because did I use it on any of the other cards? I don't even remember. No. We did not, so we have to use it on this card. All right, so here we go. Oh, yep, I'm putting this glue away. It helped me and saved me, so I do love me. I've been going through that liquid, for not, for not loving this, it's not that I don't love it, it's just I'm messy with it. This stuff is awesome though. I've been going through a lot of this lately, like a lot. Um, I think it's because I have been using a lot of these little die cut pieces and that glue works really awesome for for that for me. Um, so we're going to put this up here. We're going to take my favorite ribbon. Favorite ribbon that's hiding over here. This is the Pool Party Sheer Ribbon. So pretty, so light. I'm so glad we still have this. And we are going to add this on the side. I keep my ribbon on here, on the spool, so that I don't um, I don't waste as much. Susan said, "Are the dies in the stamp? Oops. Are the dies the stamps? So the, the there's a stamp set right here. There's a stamp set, and then there's a separate set of dies." So the dies you get free, but you have to place a $100 order. And then the stamp set is $22. But currently, or right before I went live, the stamp set was sold out. But I was saying it should be back in a few days. So just keep checking the website, and I will also post when it comes back in stock. We make our own stamps here in Utah. So um, usually they're not out for very, for very long. But I wouldn't hesitate on the dies because... Those are a while supplies last item, so you're going to want to get those. Okay, cut your bow down. This is kind of a, a big bow. So we have our bow on the side. And then to finish it off, the last thing is we're going to grab some real red rhinestones. And where's my take your pick tool? I have that somewhere right here. And we are going to add some red rhinestones on the tree to kind of tie in. Do you see that sparkly, the sparkly little banner here? And then we're going to add some rhinestones. So we're going to add one. This tree over here is going to get a few. This card, I just want to like put it in a frame. It makes me happy. I hope it makes you guys happy too. I hope you have enjoyed these cards tonight. They... Just put a smile on my face. And we're gonna put three over here. You could add some to this tree. I didn't, I didn't. But here we go. Here is our card. What do you think? And here is the one I put together in five minutes. So I hope that you love this card too. And this one's kind of fun because it opens up this way. And you could even stamp something up there. There, um, so Susan, yes, we have um, a couple die, we have a large die cutting machine, um, or we have a little mini one. Uh, the mini one is like 60 bucks. If you need to get one, I recommend the big one because that does all your needs. But if you can't afford it, or if you already have the big one, and like I said, if you're a big time crafter, I do recommend the small one too. But the big one will do everything that you need. The small one does like, I would say 90% of all the things we have. So here are our cards. If you missed the first one, here it is. You light up the season and the cute little dog and the lights and the trees. And then we did this one with the snow puff paint. Um, and then the cute little camper. And then if you missed it, I showed this 
fun little eight by eight sampler that we had made at my team meeting that you could put in a frame also. Um, that was so cute too. So we did that on Sunday. So I hope that, um, I hope that you guys love this. I'm going to turn you up for a minute and read a few of your comments. So, oh, my hair is all over. Um, Carol said, all three are really cute. Bonnie said she has the dyes, but she needs to get the stamps. Yes. And here is the host code. So this host code is good for this month. If you want to do any shopping with me, um, I always send you um, a, I'm going to send you a free gift with every $50 order. So not only if, when you spend $50, when you spend $50, you get to pick something out of here for free. Or if you get $100, you can get two items or you can get the cute little, uh, they're called tree lot dies that we use tonight. Um, but every $50 order, not only do you get that free thing, but I'm going to send you um, something free also in the mail. Um, a new embellishment or a ribbon or pack of paper. I haven't decided yet, but something that you're going to really like um, as a thank you gift. Um, so I always, always do that as well. Allison said she really enjoyed the cards tonight. Where did I get the frame? I got it at the craft store, um, Michael's, and they come three in a pack. And I usually buy get them when they're like buy one, get one half off or something like that. And you can buy them online too. So um, if you guys want to see what card kits I have left for sale, I'm thinking about doing that maybe tomorrow. And because I did find some in the back room when I was like cleaning out. And they went really fast last time. These are totally different kits. Like I found totally different kits that I didn't even know I had. So um let me know, and maybe I can go live tomorrow and show you those and sell sell those. But I just hope that these made you smile as much as they did me, and that you don't wait to get this cute stuff. And then now you can get a head start on your Christmas cards too. So, um, and if anyone wants to get that cute little planner and join my team, let me know. I can help you with that. The starter kit's always a really awesome deal. And I'm going to stop talking now, and I will see you guys later. So have a really great night, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Peg, you can message me, okay? I'll see you guys later. Bye.